Yo, what's up everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you folks are here. And yes, we are doing a review of a aftershave splash and you're like, where's the soap? Well, there is no soap. Uh, we'll get to that shortly. But anyway, welcome in. To those that are new, my name is Silky Creamy and I do very niche review videos. Uh, I take a close, up and close, and, uh, up and close and personal look at these products, uh, give you my first impressions, and then we learn from the artisan what's inside and the inspiration behind the product, and um, hopefully you get a better idea of what this product is, and maybe it'll help you make a decision on whether or not uh, you want to pick up this product. So, as always, if you are returning, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, guys, ladies. I appreciate you so much for being here really means the world to me and you folks have really been really really supportive of me and so i appreciate that so today we're going to be doing a very special video and so as you can see this is just an aftershave splash and as of right now there is no soap that you can purchase on phoenix artists and accoutrements website for this and this one's called creosote and obviously this is a plant of some sort obviously i don't know what creosote is um, to be honest, and I feel like an idiot because I think a lot of people know what it is and I don't. Um, but maybe there's others who don't know what this is also and we're going to learn together. So anyway, we're going to take a look at the label. It has a very, very southwest feel to it. Um, yeah, the, like the terracotta, um, you know, housing and, and bricks. Um, it almost has that art and you see like the rain jobs coming down. It's almost like Native American um, art, per se. Really, really beautiful. Really, really nice. Abstract colors um, and shapes. And obviously, you have a tree of some sort. I don't know if that's the creosote tree or not. I don't know. Um, and then you have that jar or jug of water there. So this is genuine creosote or creosote. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but... Anyway, there you have creosote, hydrosol, resin, carrot seed extract. Has a beautiful, not beautiful, but a really, really dark color to it. It's, it's one of the darkest um, aftershaves I've seen. Um, but it's so dark, it's hard to read. But anyway, let's go ahead and shake this up. I'm going to smell this and then we're going to read from the website, which is probably going to tell us exactly what we're, what it is and what we're smelling. So this looks like there is a orifice reducer in here. So I found this by accident on their website. Cause obviously I was, I usually just look at soaps, but I was just going through their aftershaves and colognes to see, you know, if I was missing anything and there was this and another product that I had never seen before. Um, by the looks of this um, um, seal, I have a feeling that this has been sitting for a while. So this was made and has already begun to kind of um, age almost like wine let's go ahead and give our first smell see what it smells like okay so it does not have a strong scent on it it has a kind of medicinal i don't know i smell some of the alcohol from the aftershave so I don't know if that is if this is a subtle smell or not, but let's go ahead and let's read from the website. Uh, they write, it's back, folks, and improved. I know. Is that even possible? But it is. Along with using creosote resin, I now distill my own creosote hydrosol from the leaves, too, giving this already magical aftershave an even fuller body. Now contains a sprig of wild harvested creosote, which will only add to this magic and splash in time. Or oh, is there a sprig in here? Did I miss this? It's so hard to see. I don't know. It's so dark. I don't know if it's floating or not. I don't really see anything in there. 
Anyway. Um, so how creosote aftershave, aftershave came to be. After creating La, Ter uh, La Tiara Mojada, I received many requests for a creosote scent. This took too much work. There are no synthetic or natural versions of the fragrance oil out there, and this is due to the mysterious makeup of the plant itself. This was going to take a bit of research to make real. Rather than steam the dis rather than steam distill the in the essential oil, I had to create a tincture, a very time-consuming task, but well worth the effort. When the tincture was potent enough, it was time to begin perfuming and hot damn. If this doesn't immediately make me reach for an umbrella. This splash is just that, a splash, and not one of our famous aftershave colognes. All the same great face feel and skin food, but more of a, of a traditional aftershave. Meaning the scent is, isn't is as all day as my colognes. Making it perfect for night shavers and perfect for those looking for good old cowboy apothecary type aftershave. So creosote bush or chaparral, greasewood, and gobernadora is the most nostalgic after the storm scent of the desert southwest and the subject of many a Native American legend. Those who grew up on in this region know and those who didn't don't. Uh, obviously I don't. A cool splash of this magic juice will immediately take you there. Creosote bush is an aromatic evergreen shrub that grows in the lower Chihu um, Chihuahuan Sonoran and Mojave deserts. It tolerates droughts better than any other shrub in North America and can survive without rain for up to two years. Wow. The lovely yellow flower blooms throughout the year after rains. The foliage gives off a distinctive and refreshing odor after rain, hence the common name creosote bush. It is also one of the longest lived plants in the world with some root system or sand surviving throughout much of the Holocene, Holocene, H-O-L-O-C-E-N-E. -E. Traditional Native Americans use this cure all bush for um, poultices, decoctions, and infusions of the leaves were utilized to treat a broad range of skin disorders as well as cuts, abrasions, and boils. Some disorders also were treated by applying the dried and pulverized leaves. It is apparent that creosote bush had both antiseptic, disinfectant, and astringent capabilities. Also, it was the original afterbite. That's right. Try a splash of this on an ant or mosquito bite to dull the itch. Wow. Very cool. Let me go ahead and smell this again. Yeah, it's a very subtle, um, um, almost like an, um, yeah, I can see how it, it's an evergreen bush. It has a very, very, very subtle pine grass type uh, scent. So yeah, very interesting. If you have always been if, um, enthused by creosote or wanted to try it, they actually have the aftershave splash. Uh, available so you can find it in the on the website where the aftershave and clone um, is so hope you guys enjoyed this is pretty cool we learned a little bit about something new and a little bit more about the plants that live in the southwest um, and plants that can survive two years without rain that's uh, quite amazing anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video this was creosote um, and I, God, I hope it's not creosote because if it is, I've been mispronouncing it all video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and, um, hope you guys are, um, doing well and hope you guys have a great summer and as always, let's bring each other up and let's take care of each other. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.